are back and I'm going to show you another recipe that we're going to make with that beautiful meat. Now this meat is done a little different but I will make a video soon on it. And this is uh, my new recipe and I am going to be making fried chicken. So with the fried chicken uh, I'm going to make larger pieces as you can tell right here. And it's still a little warm to touch, but I could actually just break some of this apart. And you don't want these very small the pieces. You want them almost like pieces of chicken thigh or... There you go. It shreds really nice. And this recipe is not done with chickpeas, but it's just as good and I did add different flavors to the seasoning. So here we go. And we're going to make some beautiful, beautiful fried chicken. Now we're going to put this on hamburger buns, I think, tonight. I think that's what my daughter wanted to do. So here we go. We've got some pieces. I'm not going to break this other one, as you can tell. If I pull it apart, you could actually see all the strands inside, but I'm not going to break this up. I will shred it later on for other recipes, but I think this is more than enough for what I'm going to be making later on. So there we go. So we're going to put all of this aside, and we're going to start making uh, a mixture of flour, and then we're going to make almost like a... A flour slurry or like a, an egg wash but out of the flour and then we're gonna flour these pieces up and we're gonna deep fry them now I know a lot of you are saying deep fry it again but you know what I'm showing you the recipe it's not that we do this often but if you don't want to do deep fried don't do deep fried if you have an air fryer you can try it in there and I'm gonna use about one I don't have that many pieces. My spoons are in the sink, guys, so bear with me. There we go. I'm using about an eighth cup of corn meal. That's going to give that chicken even a crunchier bite. There we go. I have to find my old spoons. Okay, here we go. We're going to put about a quarter cup of starch maybe even a little more of starch okay we're gonna put some black pepper to this where is my black pepper there we go and let's say about maybe yeah, about a teaspoon of black pepper or you could put more if you want it really is up to you we're going to put some paprika. We're going to put about a tablespoon of paprika. Yeah, that's about a tablespoon of paprika. We've got some garlic salt. So since I'm using the salt, I'm not going to be adding salt to my recipe. But if you uh, have just garlic powder, uh, then you could add some salt. But, you know, you could taste your, your flour, and if you feel like you need some more salt, go ahead and just put it. Here we go, about a tablespoon of onion. We're going to put about a tablespoon of dry thyme. And this is going to give it a nice, almost like a lemon thyme chicken, fried chicken. And we're going to first mix this all up, and then we're going to taste our flour. Now, if you want hot, you could also put some chili flakes, which I will as soon as I... Maybe I'll put chili instead of the flakes. We'll get some chili. Chili powder. Yeah, I could use some salt there. And I am going to put some chili powder, maybe a teaspoon of chili powder. 
I'm going to put a little bit of white sugar. There we go. I love using white sugar in my flour because it just makes it nice and golden. And that's about maybe a teaspoon, a teaspoon and a half. Not much. You don't want much of it. And I did I seem to need a little bit of salt, so I will add some of that. Maybe a teaspoon of salt. But again, like I said, if you just dip your finger, you'll see if you need more or less. Okay. I'm going to put this aside. Okay. Now, usually if you're making uh, some type of southern fried chicken, there's always like a buttermilk. If you want, you can use water or you can use uh, some regular milk and put a bit of lemon in there and kind of curl up your milk. But we're going to use a bit of this flour. And we're going to use some milk. Here we go, we're using a little bit of milk, and this is natural, organic, unsweetened soy milk. There we go. Maybe we're going to add just a little bit of flour to this. Just a little. You want it to stick. See? Okay. Easy. And we're going to just throw them in. And we can even let them sit in there. Until you're ready to fry these up. Very simple, guys. Oop, sorry. Now, if you don't want to use the flour, what you could do is use um, a mixture of flax seeds, and you can use that as uh, almost like an egg. But because we're not using egg, um, like I said, you could either use the flax seeds or you could simply uh, just take some of your flour, or if you don't want to use that flour, just take plain flour and a little bit of milk or water, whatever you prefer. And if we need more, we'll just make some more. And that's the best part about vegan food is you could actually taste it before it even gets before it even gets uh, cooked you know you're not going to get sick no salmonella for you with these recipes that's for sure there we go and we might you know what we might squeeze a little lemon in here just to give it that soury flavor now if you want and you want your uh, chicken pieces to be a little cheesy. You could also add nutritional yeast, but we're going to try and keep it as traditional as we can. There we go. Another little piece there. And because of the shapes of our meat, it's going to end up looking like real chicken, guys. Not that you care. I mean, you know, people are saying that I'm unethical. I'm a non-ethical vegan because I make food that resembles uh, food that resemble animal. And all I can say is that uh, I could call them unethical because they love their dog, and then they go out and kill an animal. So, you know. Okay. While this is doing, I'm going to pour some oil in my pot and I'm going to start heating that up. So this way, when I'm ready, I can simply start frying it. 
I like using smaller pots to fry, not too small because otherwise you might burn yourself. But I like using smaller pots to fry because I use less oil and I don't waste oil. So I'm going to take this and maybe flip it over so I could put my pieces on there. There we go. So I'm just going to get a little bit of lime juice. Just to give it that kind of sour taste. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. There. And I will add just a drizzle of olive oil. I know, I know, add more fat to the fat. But remember guys, this is not something that you eat every day. How often are you going to eat a piece of fried chicken? I mean, you know, you shouldn't eat it every day. There we go. Okay, be right back. And we're going to make us some fried chicken. Who doesn't like fried chicken, right? Okay, so I am going to just mix this up. I did add a little extra cornmeal in it and that just kind of adds to it right and you could always salt your chicken when you're done so we're just going to throw it in there we go shake it off and put it to the side yeah, let me just give it one more shot here it is to the side do the next one And if you have leftover flour, guys, don't be afraid. Just put it in a plastic bag, and you can put it right into your freezer, and you're okay until the next time you need it. There we go. And when you fry, you don't want to put too many at a time, because you want them to get nice and golden. Could have used a glove, maybe. Yeah? Looks like chicken pieces, even though they're not. If you can see my pieces, aren't they beautiful? And here's my last piece of chicken. So there we go. We're gonna wait till the oil is done, and we're gonna start deep frying these. Don't put too many to fry at one time, Look at that, guys. or they will get, looks like chicken, but it's not. They will get soggy. You want them nice and crispy, guys. I'm going to just put a little bit of salt on there. I'm going to let my daughter try it. Erica, do you want to? Mm. Oh, yeah, be careful. JJ. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. Wow. Very good. Better than last time. See guys, look at that. It breaks just like chicken. That's really good. Wow. Little mushroom. I'm going take another one. Thank you. That's one chicken that's not screaming. There we go. And that's done. Put them in here. Beautiful. 
beautiful burger is done with the chicken. I put some onions. Well, my husband, I didn't put any sriracha, but my daughter wants a sriracha. Either you can make hamburgers or you can just have them in a basket and eat it that way. So I hope you like this video, guys. And don't forget, share with your friends. And leave a comment if you try it and tell me how you like it. So guess what, guys? I'll see you in my next video. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.